Hello there. Welcome once again. This is Jonathan Lagan coming to you. I'm so excited to always come again and again to bring the word of God to you. And I trust that it will bless you. I trust that it will be exciting, particularly for this series that we are about to begin. And uh, I want you to learn as much as you can and uh, put it side by side with what you already know on the subject that we are going to discuss about. And I trust the Lord to do us good. Amen. So before we begin, I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear viewer and listener. I pray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation will come upon them, that you open the eyes of our understanding. I pray that your word will come forth with life, with wisdom, with simplicity, and power. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. So we are set for today. I want us to, I want to teach on a very um, exciting subject. And we are going to have that for the next few episodes. It's going to be like a series that we are going to discuss about. Uh, something the Lord laid in my heart January this year for us to talk about dreams, revelations, and interpretations. Dreams, revelations, and interpretations. Now, I know that there are a thousand and one or probably a million plus individuals out there who time and again have supernatural experiences uh, in terms of dreams, in terms of visions. And everybody wants to be able to understand their dreams because we all have a belief that uh, they hold a key to the future or they contain messages that could come from the divine. And you know, in a world full, full of problems or full of problems, it is important that uh, we go back to the Word of God to give us answers so we can have uh, appropriate understanding of these things. And that's why we want to talk about this subject today. I want to submit to you that what I'm going to be sharing here will strictly be from the Word of God and then a little bit of personal revelations that the Holy Spirit has shared with me in line with His Word. And I also want to submit again that this is not all that you need to know about dreams and, and interpretations, dreams, revelations and interpretations. This is not all that there is. This is only a part or a piece of the jigsaw puzzle. Uh, just having a template from the Word of God so you can also go do your findings. There are recommended authors you can read, which I will recommend to us somewhere at the end of this episode or the next. Uh, because it's a very broad subject but let's just be able to learn one or two things from this particular series and trust that it will really be a blessing so if you're ready let's get started now dreams are, are, are experiences that are captured under what i will call revelations revelation is like an umbrella name it's like a family name to experiences and encounters that people have spiritually. It is not new that though we live in this physical realm, this realm, this physical realm we live in, this part of the universe, this material universe that we call Earth, is not the only part of the universe that we live in. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 that God created the worlds in verse 3, God created the worlds in plural. The word worlds there in the Greek speaks of different ages and different dispensations. So we are just in one of the world of the many worlds in our universe. And in Colossians chapter 1, the Bible tells us He created all things visible and invisible. So it is not new. That though we live in the visible universe, we are surrounded by an invisible and immaterial universe, which we call the spiritual world or the spiritual realm. The fact that it is spiritual and invisible doesn't mean it is not real. It is real. It is a real world, a real realm with a civilization of its own. 
where a lot of things happen. Now, I don't want to go deep into that because that's not really our focus in this series. I'm just here to talk to you about dreams and revelations, but I felt to establish um, it such a premise for what we want to share on. So revelation is like a compound word for every kind of spiritual experience that men can have, particularly with the divine. Okay? Revelations, or a revelation is a disclosure, a disclosure of a message or an experience that comes from a superior dimension, which, like I have said, is the realm of the spirit. So, God discloses secrets. They are secrets because they are in his realm, but he discloses it to us. It can come as signals, as messages, as experiences, such as dreams that we will share about, uh, just so that his people can be enlightened, either about his plan for their lives, about the future, or about things happening around them. Well, so that having said, that gives us a little understanding of revelations. Now, dreams. Dreams are supernatural experiences that occur mostly in the subconscious or unconscious state of a man with the end of communicating messages uh, from God to that man. So a dream is an experience it contains a message. Of course, it's coming from the divine supernatural. It's coming from the divine spiritual. It's coming from God, containing messages uh, for an individual or for a community or a group of people. Dreams will either, number one, contain messages about the future, or number two, dreams will contain messages about the purpose or the plan of God for the individual or for the group of people. Or number three, dreams could contain warnings. 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 Number four as well, dreams could contain ideas or concepts. Now we live in a world that is governed and controlled by ideas. Ideas. Everything around you is the product of the thought of man. Everything created in this physical and material universe is an idea or a concept. Now, people can also receive inspirational ideas or concepts through dreams. It is that aspect of revelations that are experiential. But notice I said it comes um, in the subconscious or unconscious state of a man. That means that you can only have dreams when you go to sleep. And the reason for that is because when we go to sleep, our physical body is stilled, is not active as it were. But then our mind and our spirit becomes more active. And our mind is able to interact with the supernatural realm, the spiritual realm to be able to receive signals or messages. Now, when you go to sleep and your mind interacts with the spiritual realm, the supernatural realm, uh, this is what we call dreams, or these are what we call dreams. That interaction that comes in form of, uh, uh, you know, pictures or images or whatever it is, is a dream. And it's because it comes to you when your physical body is asleep, but your mind is interacting with the supernatural realm. Now, most times, the problem we've always had is in the interpretation of dreams. And that's the reason. The reason is because there are certain principles that we need to know and understand to be able to have our dreams interpreted, which I will be sharing in the other episodes. So once again, thank you very much for this time. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. I will give you a little bit more enlightenment about dreams, what you need to know about dreams, basics that you need to know, how to be able to understand and interpret a dream. 
are different kinds of dream visions. Um, so once again, thank you very much and see you next time.